Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Edith Nunez. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my piercings. So the pain level and just like my experience with each one. So I know I don't have a ton of piercings, but I wanted to share with you guys the few that I do have just for the people out there who are curious and are thinking about getting one of these piercings. So I'm going to start off by saying that I didn't get any of my piercings professionally done. I know that sounds horrible. So the reason for that is because I was under 18 years old when I got most of my piercings. So if I were to get them professionally done, one of my parents would have to go with me. And that was not going to happen. My parents are super strict and have always been against piercings other than just like your earlobes. So I'm going to start off with the very first piercings I got, which are my earlobes. Um, I got my earlobes done when, when I was a baby. If you hear any background noise, mumbling, talking, any sounds, it is my one-year-old. He is in this room with me. I can't really tell you guys much about my earlobes because I did get them pierced when I was just a baby. Um, I do have a total of four, two on each earlobe. Um, but from what I've heard, earlobes are not painful at all. Do keep in mind that I'm just telling you guys my experience and the pain level I experience. It is different for everyone depending on your pain tolerance. So moving on to my cartilage piercings. I do only have one on each ear right now. I have had my cartilage pierced over eight times. The reason for that is because I would always take out my piercings and they would close up so then I would have to get them re-pierced and yeah. I started getting my cartilage pierced when I was, I want to say, around 14 and 15. I want to give a shout out to my friend Briseida because she is the one who would always pierce my cartilage. What she would do is she would take like just a regular earring like one of these and she would just shove it in there I know it sounds so brutal <laughs> getting your cartilage pierced isn't really painful um, I think that the most uncomfortable thing is like the pops that you hear before it goes in um, you do hear like two to three pops so for me that was like the most uncomfortable thing but it wasn't super painful but from a scale to 1 to 10 10 being the most painful I would give it a 1 I do feel like the cartilage takes forever to heal sometimes I feel like it doesn't even completely heal I always had problems with my cartilage piercings because I sleep on my side and so when you sleep on the side and you're, you're sleeping on your piercing or your earring um, it does get really sore in the morning so what I do now is um, I take them out at night and I put them back in in the morning I've always loved cartilage piercings but I feel like it's always been like a hate and love relationship with, with my cartilage piercings um, I do plan on getting like two more on each ear so we'll see how that goes the next piercing I got is my belly button piercing I do have the top and the bottom both pierced to go ahead and give a shout out to my friend Stephanie she's the one who pierced my belly button but when I got my belly button pierced I did go ahead and order a professional kit online so everything that we used was what a professional used. I got the top of my belly button pierced first it wasn't super painful but you did feel that like super big pinch and, and I do remember that it took a while to go through um, I would give it a 3 out of a 10. Then a couple months after, I got the bottom pierced. The bottom belly button is kind of fucked up. I will go ahead and show you guys that. So excuse my nails, I haven't painted them in forever, so they're super ugly. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is why you guys should go to a professional. Um, I'm not blaming this on my friend, like, at all. It was completely my fault. But you guys see how, like, little bit of skin that is? Like, look at that compared to the top one. Like, sometimes I get really scared that it's just, like, it's just going to rip. Um, but, yeah, so this was my fault because when my friend was going to pierce this, she actually grabbed, like, a right amount of skin. But I thought it was a lot, and I was really scared that it was going to hurt, so I told her to grab, like, less and so then she pierced it and 
<laughs> this is how it came out. I don't really care. I would I wouldn't get it re-pierced just because it was super painful and I don't want to do that. The bottom was definitely a lot more painful than the top, like a big difference. I would give the bottom a 5 out of 10. The healing for both my belly button piercings was really fast and easy. I didn't have any problems with them. I never had the problem of it getting caught on my clothes or anything like that. So for me, it was really easy. Now moving on to my nose piercing. I got my nose pierced by the same friend who yeah, pierced my yeah. belly button. The nose was a lot less yeah, painful yeah. than the belly button. I would say that my nose was a 2 out of 10. It was not yeah, painful yeah. at all. It was just a lot of pressure, but that was it. And when you get your nose pierced, one of your eyes are always going to get watery. So that's just something that's always going to happen. It went in pretty fast. The healing process was similar to my belly button. It was really easy. I didn't really, I didn't have any problems with my nose. I didn't get any bumps around it or anything like that. I didn't get infected. So it was really easy. I will tell you guys at the end of the video what I do, what I've always done to clean my piercing. So next is my last piercing, which is my Medusa. This is the one I just recently got. I got this one, I believe, like six months ago. This is by far the most painful piercing I have ever gotten. Um, I would give it a seven out of 10, you guys. It was pretty painful, which, I mean, I kind of knew it was going to be. A lot of people who had gotten it done had told me that it was pretty painful. So I was kind of expecting that. When I got my Medusa pierced, it, was, it wasn't fast like the rest of my piercings. So I think that's why it was really painful because it took the needle forever to go through. Um, I know that my piercer was just making sure that it was straight. She did tell me that it usually goes in a lot faster, but for some reason on me, it took forever for the needle to go through. It's different for each person, so. But I absolutely love it. It was totally worth it. Also, my Medusa was the one that I had more problems with compared to the rest of my piercings. The healing did take a little bit longer. I did switch my bar within like a month and you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to wait like three to six months, I believe. The reason I switched out my bar so quickly is because it kept, it kept getting stuck in between my teeth and it would scratch my gums a lot and stuff like that. So that was really uncomfortable for me. So a month after I got it pierced, I did switch that out to a shorter bar. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see a close-up of my Medusa. Uh, let you guys see how it looks. So that is how, ah oh, fuck, I got lipstick on my nose. Say hi to everyone. He's being super fussy, so he's just going to be in the video. He is going to join us for the last bit of this video. Hi. Like the rest of my... I'm the one talking. Just kidding. The Medusa was a big difference compared to the rest of my piercings. I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys why I say that. It is because when you get your Medusa pierced, I don't know about other people, but for me, it took me a while for me to get used to doing certain things. For example, like sucking out of a straw. Um, that was really weird. <laughs> Taking a big bite out of something, like an apple. Um, I couldn't really do that. Even when it came to kissing, like, that felt really weird. So, I don't know if it's just me, if there's other people who experience the same thing, but it took me a while for me to get used to those type of things. Now I can do all of those things and I have no problem, so it's just something that you gotta get used to. If there's people who are watching my video and who have been having problems with their bar and have like a metal bar, um, like a titanium one or a stainless steel one, I just barely switched to a, to a bioplast one. 
which has made such a big difference. Um, when I had the stainless steel bar, it was really uncomfortable for me. I always felt it. It was always I could always feel it there. And I switched to a Bioplast one because my one-year-old loves to kick me in the face. So the disc was always cutting my lip and I was always bleeding. I always had like a bit of like a flop of skin always there. And I felt like my I felt like my piercing wasn't completely healing because I was always getting hurt in that area. I switched to a bioplast one which is more of a plastic and it is a lot more comfortable. It feels a lot better. So I do recommend that. But if your if your piercing hasn't completely healed then I I don't think you should get one yet um, until your piercing is completely healed then you can put a bioplast in. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what I do in order to clean my piercings. I did the same thing with all of my piercings. I get some saline solution and I get a q-tip and I just dip the q-tip into saline solution and I just go ahead and I clean the area and that is it guys like super simple. I mean that's all I've done with all my piercings and I've never gotten an, an infection or anything like that so yeah um, that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it um, if you have any questions for me then please go ahead and leave that down below in the comments thank you for watching guys bye